Alrighty folks, here we are at the Wisconsin River. I just like to take a second here and enjoy all this natural beauty. Alrighty, let me know when you guys are done taking pictures of me. We get on with the tour. <laughs> Alright, now the river is a little bit low today, so it's not going to be as clean of a splashdown as the ones before. Folks, here we are in the Wisconsin River. Now, if you guys look up ahead and kind of to the left right here, this is our first freestanding rock formation of the trip. This is known as Lone Rock. Lone Rock got its name, well, because it's as lonely as I am. No, I'm just kidding. It's got its name from a man named H.H. Bennett. Now, H.H. Bennett used to used to ride his little wood canoe up and down the Wisconsin River here, and he was the very first person to take pictures of these freestanding rocks, giving him the rights to name them. He named this Lone Rock because it's the last freestanding rock on the Wisconsin River. If you guys look down the Wisconsin River there, you will see what it looks like until it flows into the Mississippi. is a little special as it does have four different cave entrances leading into a bay into a cave that is big enough to fit this entire boat if you guys look here on the left you will see the first of the four cave entrances Now coming up here on our left hand side is the second cave entrance. Now get your cameras ready because you will be able to see straight through this whole entire one. You'll be able to see a little bell shape as we go by. Alrighty, there you can see that little bell shape. It goes by pretty quick. Now I took my girlfriend out here once and she said it looked like a wedding bell. But I thought it looked more like a Taco Bell. That's why I'm single now. Alright, if you look to the left again, you will see the third cave entrance, which is actually the biggest of the four cave entrances. straight behind us again, you will be able to see straight through that rock. Now based on what you see, I will be able to tell a little bit about your personality. Now if you see a teardrop, you may be sad. If you see a Hershey's Kiss, you may be looking for love. If you see a Dorito like I do, you might be a little hungry. If you see a poop emoji, well, you might be having a bad day. Now if you don't see any of those things, folks, that's totally fine. You can still go home and say you looked out the rear end of a duck. 